The Mystery of the Veiled Christ of Naples The most famous sculpture in the world has feeding popular legends about the customer, Raimondo di Sangro, for centuries. But a document unveils the Ark. Since the 18th century, the Veiled Christ kept in the San Severo Chapel in Naples has attracted admirers and tourists from all over the world, especially due to the incredible transparency of the shroud which for centuries has fueled numerous legends about the client of the sculpture. Made in 1753, the work is considered one of the greatest sculptural masterpieces in the world, so much so that Antonio Canova declared that he would be willing to give even 10 years of his life in order to have been the author of such a marvel. What makes the Veiled Christ a unique sculpture of its kind is above all the incredible transparency of the shroud. Over the centuries, the prodigious texture of the marble veil, which leaves observers and scholars amazed, has been shrouded in the deepest mystery. According to a popular legend, the commissioner of the work, Raimondo di Sangro, 7th Prince of San Severo, as well as a famous scientist and alchemist, taught the sculptor how to calcify the fabric in marble crystals. For over 250 years, it was mistakenly believed that the incredible transparency of the shroud was therefore the result of an alchemical process of marbling, carried out by the prince who would have placed a real veil on the statue that over time would have been marbled through a chemical process, giving life to the work of art as we know it today. Scrupulous studies, together with the various documents coeval with the realization of the veiled Christ, have however revealed the mystery. Giuseppe San Martino would actually have worked on a single block of marble. In a document, dated December 16, 1752 and kept in the Banco di Napoli Historical Archive, there is a deposit of 50 ducat in favor of the Neapolitan artist. Signed by Raimondo di Sangro, the total cost of the statue will amount to 500 ducats. In the contract, the prince writes, and for me you will pay the aforementioned 50 ducats to the magnificent Giuseppe San Martino on account of the statue of our dead lord covered by a veil of marble. Furthermore, in some letters sent to the physicist Jean, Antoine Nollet and to the academician of the Crusca Giovanni Giraldi, Raimondo di Sangro describes the transparent shroud as made from the same block of the statue, while further on the 18th century biographer of the prince, John Giuseppe Ariglia, he would have specified that Christ is all covered with a sheet of transparent veil of the same marble, 